Good morning and welcome back to the channel y'all. It is another beautiful day here in Washington State as you can see behind me out the window. Um, it's about 8 a.m. Supposed to meet up with Jake today, um, take some pictures of the Mustang and the Ranger together. It'd be kind of fun. Not sure whether that's going to happen or not. So, in the meantime, I figured we'll go over my latest purchase. Um, about a week ago, I was in Sportsman's Warehouse, my local sporting goods store, and um, found this. Love and Free T4 comes with a pocket carry clip 12 different tools so yeah let's go through this thing let's break it down and see why it's probably my new favorite EDC piece alright so I picked this thing up for $59.99 stickered uh, 60 and some change after tax so um, they had three color options. They had the green, they had blue, and they had red, so I, I decided to go with green. Figured it'd match my other new everyday carry knife. The old, uh, not old, brand new Aegis AT. Love this thing. Did a review on this a couple days ago. I'm going to link that video up here. So if you feel like watching it, click on that, and uh, you can see a review on this knife. So moving on. 12 tools in all. Let's try to go through them and count them off for you guys. Number one, tweezers. Just like a Victorinox, tucked away, nice and slick. That's awesome. Number two is going to be our blade, which is 420HC stainless steel. Made in America. Nice blade shape, really good edge on it from the factory. We'll do some cutting here shortly. So that is number two. That is tool number two. This also locks into place with the locking system, which is great. And all the tools are held in place when they're in the frame via magnets. So nice and slick deployment. And um, yeah, all you do to access your tools, um, press down right here, and they pop right up. So, number three is going to be a large flathead screwdriver. Number four is a pry bar. And number five is a box opener. You can put, see they put a little bevel right there. Continuing, number six is going to be our file, double-sided. And number seven is going to be our medium flathead screwdriver right there in the end. Moving on to the other side, number eight is going to be our Phillips head screwdriver. Number nine is going to be our bottle opener. Number ten is going to be our awl. Number eleven is going to be our small flathead screwdriver. And finally, number 12 is going to be our scissors, which when locked into place are spring-loaded. These things are extremely sharp. They'll cut through 550 no problem. We'll demonstrate that here in a little bit. Again, this is held in place via a locking system, which is really nice. In my opinion, that's what, um, that's what the Victorinoxes are missing, is a locking system. So... Yeah, like I said, this thing is going to become my new, has become my new EDC multi-tool. Uh, this resides in one of my pockets, and this resides in another. And uh, this is pretty much my EDC, you guys. So, all right, let's do a little cutting and uh, testing of the tools, and then we'll wrap this thing up, keep it nice and short for you. All right, y'all, let's do some uh, cutting with the multi-tool. Break out the blade real quick. We're going to start off with some uh, small material. Alright, go ahead and uh, move up to some thicker stuff. Alright, 
and to the toughest stuff. Okay, decent edge on it. I could definitely put a better edge on this thing. In fact, I will after this video. But it handled this stuff pretty well. And this stuff, like I've said in past videos, is extraordinarily tough. Alright, let's move on to the scissors and see if they can cut through some uh, light paracord. Yeah, pretty impressed. And again, to stow the tool, flips away like that. All right, now that we've gone over pretty much everything, um, that's gonna wrap this little video up. Technical specifications are gonna be in the link in the description below. Um, I've been linking Blade HQ's website to these little knife reviews slash initial impressions. They're a great source of information and their prices for knives and multi-tools are extremely competitive. Not affiliated with that website in any way, shape, or form. I've just been watching their YouTube channel and cruising their website a ton and learning more and more about knives. So, that's actually where I got the recommendation for this. Again, the Leatherman Free, made in the USA, all the way around. 60 bucks will get you essentially what a Victorinox should have always been, in my opinion. Um, I know I'm going to get a lot of flack for that, but this, is, this has a locking system for the knife, and um, those magnets holding the tools in place are just so smooth, and uh, you know, you do have one-handed operation if need be. So, alright, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for sticking with the channel. I appreciate it. I know I haven't been posting any fishing videos. That will come to a change. That will come to a stop. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, the weather is supposed to be good this weekend and throughout the week, so I'm going to get back out on the water in the kayak. You should see the state of the kayak right now. It's about half full of rainwater and uh, other junk. So I've got to clean that out. Maybe I'll make a vlog out of it or something. But that's going to do it. See you on the next one. Oh.